Hello, Buzz and Gus. My name is Alcest and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time, I think it was last time, but we really stepped out up our uh, steel production game uh, with uh, this metal refinery now constantly working at least as long as uh, some duplicates are here to uh, do the work but this thing should cool itself down what we are missing though is uh, here you can see the, the cooling loop for the steam turbine uh, but currently we are just taking out water out of this tank and we want to cool this down and this is where this system comes comes in so we have uh, the uh, aquatunus set up so the next step is uh, we need two steam turbines here on top uh, to take care of all the steam uh, these machines will generate so that they do not overheat and uh, we can cool down everything as i have learned just increasing the priority a bit does help okay that's done which means we can close off here um, so we have a small as possible uh, room here um, is the uh, cooling system and then we wait for still a bit more uh, uh, steel we need uh, 800 kilograms for one steam turbine we should eventually get that and once we have the the cooling loop set up we can actually start cooling down on our base which is getting a bit on the on the warm side um, so that's why all these mealwood is no longer growing this mealwood is not growing uh, here the bristle blossom it's just barely growing but our calories are probably going down uh, before we are finished with the equipment setup uh, how are we looking uh, here for the uh, cooling loop um, we have one going here isolated then cooling down here a bit um, and the rest is all isolated pipe so we will probably punctually just uh, switch few of these out and see how that helps us and then i think we will we shall start the second pump up just to get some cooling and this is a big uh, polluted water tank so the water will gradually heat up but not too fast so uh, i'm hoping that we can do a bit of cooling of our base before the uh, the water is getting too warm um, so that we actually need uh, the 
cooling system here on top. I think that's everything, so uh, then this it's this pipe. Um, uh, let's enable it. We could also uh, do with an uh, with a switch there, but seeing that we we can relatively easily go in here, um, it does not really metal that much. Okay. We will not immediately see uh, a uh, decrease uh, in temperature, but I think the best way to see it is if we look at the uh, temperature of the water that's going in here. Uh, sits at uh, 33.6 degree and then here it's the same temperature that's probably because the air has also almost the same same temperature so we will see some some bigger effects once the water is uh, has a more more of a gap temperature wise um, uh, than we have now. Uh, maybe here on top, thirty three point six degrees. Yeah, does not really make a difference. Uh, though here we have a few more uh, degrees to uh, to cool down. Then I think as the polluted water, um, then here that's the second pipe. Um, I think we shall do this, uh, pipe it through our bedrooms, and then up here. We need a few uh, bridges Go in this direction, that direction, and this direction. And then this loop will also cool down uh, our uh, draglet farm and hopefully we can add a few draglet um, farms here on this. but. Here we um, we need more more cooling. Well, um, have it here, then going up here. Then this letter up here. We need another brick. The roof here is too high, so let's put in a few letters so they can actually uh, build this up. And in the meantime, we got more people. One steam turbine, which we will place, and connect. Connect 
this up. That's something I did not consider. Um, I forgot to put in the pipe here. But I think we can we can uh, manage that. Oh, no 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 no! Steam turbine made out of. it out of steel that's why we waited for all that steel to be uh, to be processed created refined whatever right so um we will wash this up this down here and yeah we will pull the wire over on this side uh, to connect power over there and let's see what's in store for us Fertilizer, I take it. Don't need any more duplicates, and rust is not really uh, useful in this world or on this asteroid. So, same story again get to it don't really care uh, for the piping in here um, because eventually they will get around to do that so then that's the uh, input comes from down here and we need to connect the output to uh, to this vent here so turbine is in place and we can build up this wall again then if we have a look we have the uh, the outlet here and we will need a bridge um, here Then we will put a bit of liquid down on the floor 
and that should be enough to uh, cool down the, the steam turbines so that they do not overheat. Okay, let's grab that cable. Pull it all the way over here. There and then down here we need a pump. Um, we do not need these letters anymore. What we need here instead is a desalinator. We will put that in place once uh, we have completed this room here. out and up the priority bit these to close this off because it gets a bit warm in here and that would evaporate the, the water and we would lose the uh, water lock so I will I will figure out how big exactly this room needs to be um, I can put in a when in this corner just in case we come around to get some uh, some hydrogen that we can pump in which would also help with uh, cooling everything down um, okay once again we have closed off uh, this room down here. So it is only a matter of time. So let's dig out the floor here slowly. Um, then we need a bottle emptier here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that means wall goes in there. And we can have a bit of uh, liquid on the floor. Uh, now that the, the piping is all done, um, we can. Ooh, this needs to be. I 
desolate. And cancel this. We still need access to that pipe. Um, having that port non-isolated that will not do. Because then the uh, the water in the pipe would heat up again and all our cooling down would have been full naught. So we are making progress, but I think we do not manage to get this set up uh, finished in this episode so let's leave it for the next one and then we shall see uh, how this cooling actually works so hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in for the next one when we will give this cooling loop a try goodbye